Here's a quick little lesson on uh, <clears throat> phasing the drive shaft properly. Uh, these two shafts right here, I pulled out of uh, customer units exactly like this. Uh, this one I just pulled out. So you can see proper phasing. You know, this is a max shaft, but it's phased properly. See how this here cup is in line on the same plane with this one? Those have to be perfect. Otherwise, when you have your joints turning and your shaft spinning, it actually binds up. As you can see, this one here is very far out. And this one got expensive. This one here I just pulled out actually out of a machine. It, uh, you can see it's out a little bit. Luckily, I don't think there's any damage to anything. Uh, it was just making a racket of a noise. If you had the back tires up in the air in neutral and you spun the tire, it would go like half a turn and then bind. And half a turn and bind, and it was making a wicked, ratchety sound. But as far as I can tell, the gearbox and the diff survived it. Um, this one, U joint was replaced on it, wasn't phased properly, put back together. I'm um, not sure if it's a result of the phasing or just natural KM. But the bolt was missing out of the uh, differential end of the drive shaft, which led to completely stripped out splines inside the shaft. Uh, U joints were gone in the shaft, so we basically ended up buying a new $380 shaft. Um, and aside from that, the diff is toast. The pinion, the pinion bearing is wrecked in there. God knows what else I haven't yet to open it up. We put a diff in it. They're 700 bucks. So, uh, yeah, it's very important that you do it properly. This is properly. Remember, the cups on an attached joint must be in the same plane. And. That's exactly all there is to it. Cost you a lot of money when you do it wrong.